There he is. There he goes. There he goes. There he goes. Boom. There he goes. There he goes. There he goes. Go, 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 go. Hey folks, I'm Dieter Melhorn. Come along with me on this trip as we're going to go chasing wintertime blue catfish. Uh, I've been on some fish, had them pinned up in an area. We're going to see if they're still there. And if they're not, well, we're going to go find them. Stay buttoned, catfish. Stay buttoned. Chicken side. <laughs> had that one pop off on the perch side. Well, we got one on the chicken side on one of the catfish pro rods. I'm calling them carrot sticks. They look like a big old long carrot stick. Hooked up, baby. Hooked up. Work this sucker in. I've got uh, my trolling motor on. I've got six rods that are have Santee rigs. Now I've got two rods. It's these PC fun reels here on these big cat fever rods that I've got suspended about three feet off the bottom. I noticed some stuff kind of in that part of the water column. So I got some baits down. I got a chicken and I got a perch. Oh, may have another rod going. Another one getting popped. Nice eater size blue. Oh, might have one. Yep, a sun on bottom. Oh, there he goes, there he goes. Look at that rod, look at that rod. Look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. Look at that. Pow. I might have it doubled up here. Let me get this sucker in the boat. Pow, there's that one. Let's see if we can get a double whammy. That one's going right there. Look at him go, look at it go. Pretty fish. Good eater blue. Nice one, we're gonna drop that one back in. Slime off my hands here. You're gonna see this one, look at that. That is a suspended bait, that one, like I said. It's about three feet off the bottom. Just hit him in the head with it. Said I was marking. I'm gonna wrap that good. Slide into another line. I got one on that side down too. And I had a hit on this rod over here. So boom. Puff. Another one. Almost identical in size. You reach down here, lift him up. Boom. There we go. Pow. Let me tell you something. When they're suspended and you can catch them like that, it's a lot of fun. They usually buried the rod just like that one did. Again, piece of chicken. It's just got a circle hook on it. Nice fish. Oh no man, just a Carolina rig is all it is. It's got a sinker on there. Nice long leader. And uh, I fished a long time, did a lot of riding, and I put two fish in the boat in a matter of minutes and almost had a third. So what you can do is you just bait it up with some chicken. There's a couple of ways to do this vertical fishing. Uh, it's on there pretty good, yeah. You can, one thing you can do, one thing I tell you is when you drop it, kind of keep your thumb on it. Don't let it spool out of there too fast. What I'm doing is just letting it fall till it hits the bottom, going about two or three cranks off the bottom. You don't have to be super, see that's on the bottom, it stops. So I'm gonna go one, two, three. And that's pretty much it. You can do this with a Kentucky rig. A double hook rig, however you want to do it. If you want to keep contact with the bottom, measure it up exactly off the bottom. I don't go through that much trouble. I just uh, put it down there a couple cranks off the bottom. It's going to be up over the top of their heads. And uh, if they're hungry, they'll eat it. Well, there you go. Two fish in the boat, back to back, doubled up. Uh, that's kind of cool this time of the year. I was... Uh, anchored up in the first place where I've caught fish the past couple of days. I was kind of in there fishing for ghosts, to be perfectly honest, uh, just to see if some of the, the, the fish were not showing up on sonar, basically. I marked a few fish, but not a lot of fish. Also, the bait that was there a couple of days ago, gone. So it shows you how quickly stuff can change and uh, where you caught them at a couple of days ago, they may not be there. So. Uh, not a significant weather change really either. It's just some of the weirdness of winter fishing this year where we're at. So, uh, but yeah, got two in the boat. I came out here to the main river channel. I actually rode in the back of that creek and looked around. Didn't mark hardly anything back there. And uh, it was just really devoid of anything. So I uh, came out here to the uh, uh, channel edge, looked around a little bit, saw some birds. Birds are always a good clue. 
and uh, decided to make a pull down through here and boom, I popped two of them, got them in the boat right fast. I'm gonna keep on dragging down through here. Yeah, like I said, all I'm doing is taking this piece of chicken and just uh, put it on this Carolina rig. Look at it on there. Sometimes you double it. You gotta play around with this chicken a little bit because of the grain of the chicken. It's kind of funny on it. There it is. Carolina rig. That's what a Carolina rig looks like. It's basically main line, a sinker, a swivel, and then your leader. And then I've got a uh, hooker's terminal tackle circle hook on there. I think they call those backstabbers. I think those are called backstabbers. But I'm just going to thumb it down to the bottom. You don't want to let just let it go, 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 because it'll get to the end and you'll backlash it. But you'll notice it'll stop when it hits bottom. Boom. Okay, that's on bottom. So about about where I got my tip about where it's going to be in the rod holder. One, two, three. Put it in the rod holder. And poof, we're fishing. Let's see if we can get another one. Guys, I think I got another one getting ready to go. If he ain't on there swimming with off with it already. I'm gonna lift on it. Yep, he's there. He's there. He's there. He's there. <laughs> I seen the rod kind of twitch and the line was kind of going out to the side. Boom. Guys, this is number three on suspended baits. Kind of rare air for me on this lake. Uh, usually that's more of a frustrating bite than it is anything. Small one, but an eater. And we're happy to have him. I'm happy to catch some fish. This will keep me patient, waiting on a big one at least. I don't get them that size too much anymore on this lake. Glad they're here. There you go. There's another one, and another one on uh, the uh, suspended baits, the uh, downlines, the ones that are just a few feet off the bottom, and a third one on chicken. So uh, <laughs> chicken's working. Chicken's catching some fish. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of cool. That I got a second one on the suspended line. Like I said, I've noticed a few of these fish up off the bottom for some reason, and uh, I don't know if it's just water comfort, temperature or some relationship to where the bait's at but uh i'm trying it out uh i may before it's over wish wish i had another downline could go to it i could add a second one just to see if uh, that produces any more fish but i'm gonna keep pulling through here i'm basically paralleling the river channel i'm not in the deepest part of the lake where i'm at uh just out here on a flat and uh putting some fish in the boat oh there he goes there he goes there he goes that's a good fish that's a good bite that is a good bite there. That is a good bite. On the carrot stick. Old Catfish Pro Rod. Chicken. Chicken. Good fish. I don't think he's a super duper whopper monster, but it's the better one we've had today. And I'll take that. side we're gonna have to play him to he's wanting to go to the other side of the boat he's wanting to go to the perch side nursing here for a second they are eating the chicken so far eating the chicken i think he's gonna play on that side That old line was way on back there. Come on, baby. He took off back to the river channel. He said, I'm gonna go some deep water. Get this thing out of my mouth. Man, what a turnaround. Like I said from the other day, all the fish up in that creek, up in Cove Miles, just someplace you don't normally catch them. Two or three days of fishing like that. And then, poof, they're back here at the river channel where they hadn't been in a couple of months. It's all right. That's what makes putting the puzzle together so much fun. Come over here. Got him. Yeah, it looks 
for the glue cap. Sam, 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 piece of chicken, no denying that, is there? Barely gonna make a teener, barely gonna make 13. Pretty fish, pretty fish. Wow, can't believe it, guys. Can't believe it. What are we up to? Five? Five fish? All five on chicken? Three of them on suspended bait. So, marking some more stuff. I'm starting to roll into the river channel right here. So, I'm going to get this rebaited. Get it back out there. Maybe there's some fish in the channel. We'll see. May have one going right here, guys. That line went, went very slack. Yep, there he is. Boom. See around, under. Boom, he is there. He is there. Hooked up. This one's on perch. Finally got us another perch fish. Not a monster. I've seen the line twitch and they go really, really slack. I think he was trying to chase down maybe another bait. He's trying to be greedy. Good eater fish. Stay out of that line. Stay out of that one. There we go. There we go. I've went back and reset kind of dragging parallel to where I came through here the first time. I went in and put out my big drift sock so I could really slow it down without having to worry about it. Another one that is an eater. Oh, pop him loose. Popped him loose. Saved me the trouble of getting him in a boat. Sadly, that was one of my big baits. I gotta get me another bait on there. I lost a boat. That was a, a bait. That was the worst part. But that was a perch, one of the bigger ones, one of these bigger bobbers, bigger corks, these bigger hooker terminal tackle baits. I'm gonna get him uh, baited back up and get him back out there. We got a little while before dark. How much time we got? Eh, we got about two hours, so we'll see if we can put some more in the boat. Man, I'm gonna have to put me a jacket on. I'm gonna have to nurse this fish, just a little one. <laughs> Uh, this drift is not working out as good as the last one. Uh, I've come a pretty long ways. Oh, there is one behind me. There's one over there. That's on the uh, perch side, just on the chicken side. Made a pretty long pull around uh, through that same area where I caught fish earlier. Didn't really put that many in the boat. I think I got that one. And uh, I'm going to nurse this one. Came through the river channel, didn't pick up anything else. I'm over to the other side and uh, getting hit up here as I come up onto this flat. Wind's died a little bit. Sun's going down it's getting chilly i'm about to put a coat on here in a second it's the first time all year we've been able to catch these fish out here where we normally catch them so it's good to good to be back that looks like a channel cat maybe barely hooked another chicken one get your shake out we're gonna lift you in boom got him no denying it's chicken Go. We'll get that bait back out. Boom, boom. Nice little leader blue. Piece of chicken. It's turned in to be. Oh, some sun getting on me. Nice little sun. That fish is still on that other one. Turned out to be a halfway decent bite today. Uh, funny, started out dead as a doornail for the first two and a half hours. So, let's see if this one's got a fish on it. Alright, let's see if this one is real 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 all over the place i think this one has popped off yeah i must have went to the other side of the boat and it came off darn that's one of the downsides of fishing alone sometimes you can't get to those baits uh, uh and there's rods when they go off so uh, we didn't get hooked up on that last one but that's all right i think that's nine in the boat uh all blues most of them on chicken i think i got what two or th maybe three uh on the perch so uh getting bit uh maybe some of this is working out here it just goes to show you folks you get in a place and you're catching some fish and all of a sudden poof they're gone especially here in the winter time man stuff changes bait moves uh stuff changes in the water water clarity changes that's one of the things that may be a contributing factor here this water's cleared up maybe some of these fish are moving feeding in a different area don't really know but uh sometimes you got to move it's tough for you guys bank fishing 
uh, but sometimes it means riding up and down the road to uh, get better access to a different place to fish. So, uh, and these fish have moved deeper. <laughs> That's the other thing. We're fishing in anywhere from 25 to 35 feet of water today. And the stuff that we were catching the other day was relatively shallow. Um, water temperatures a little bit colder, not much. They're about 50.5 today. It was around 52, 53 the other day. So not a big change in temperature. Biggest thing I can see is water clarity difference. And we've got some consistent sunshine. So that's kind of, you know, you, it, it, you can try to figure this stuff out. You can come up with some reasons, but honestly, you come up with about as many reasons for why you're not catching them as for why you are catching them and vice versa. So sometimes it's just a matter of getting out there and fishing and trying and striking out and struggling and uh, keeping at it. There he is. There he goes. 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 Go. 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 Load that sucker up. Ah, boom. Hooked up. Hooked up. Hooked up on some chicken. Old oh, chicken, chicken, chicken. Getting over here. Pretty good ways across this flat. I'm getting actually toward the bank. And uh, bite rates picked up here. Got a couple getting hit here, right here in this last little bit. They're not big fish, these are eater sized fish younger fish but i'm catching fish which tells me if these puppies are out here there may be some big ones around i don't feel like i'm gonna catch any right in here though get him in the boat boom i just when i get into fish this size i don't feel like i'm in big fish territory but as i've said with the bite there's that one Pretty with the sunlight against them. A little silhouette of them against the sun. That's probably pretty cool. It's a good shot of an anal fin on one. You can see how that outer edge of that fin, very flat. That's how you can tell it's a channel, uh, uh, <laughs> a flathead. Hey, blue cat, there he is, pretty fish. But it's turning into a decent bite out here. That's, that, that's several fish I put in the boat uh, here on this part of this drift. and. Who knows what the reason is. I'm just going to keep dragging and pulling them through here. Uh, maybe get another one. Try to drag this out. We ain't got long until dark. So this will uh, probably be the last little drift here. But it's giving me some confidence that there's some fish to be out here. But what I was saying about the bigger fish is what can change. It's just like the bite kind of went away in what was this pattern that was working earlier within, you know, a couple of days. I could come out here tomorrow and there may be big fish in here. So uh, it's refreshing to know there's fish, there's biting fish here in this deeper water, some areas I can drift and cover some water. So let's get this one back in the water. Maybe we'll get another one before dark. Go, 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 go. He's on there. Yep. He's there. I want to wrench on him too bad. Oh, there he goes. That drags loose. There we go. It's that PC fun reel been uh, trying out that I actually like. This fish has got some weight. That was one of the uh, suspended baits. Fish up off the bottom. Come off of there. Just let drag up a little bit there. Okay. Look at that. It's nice. Nice little bite. Mercy him up here. He's probably got some fight left in him. Where is that? Another one. This is on chicken. Y'all kind of know the routine. They are hitting this stuff. Oh, he's not that big. He just hit it like a freight train. I tell you what, my next trip out here, I may put a couple of these suspended baits down there because to have one rod out, actually two rods out out of eight, and only one with chicken, and I've caught four, maybe five fish. Whoa, 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 whoa on this suspended rod makes me wonder how many i would have caught with more there he is come here sucker come here sucker hey say can i get you in here oh yeah there we go hey say hey say come here 
you up here. Thing situated. It's funny, I've not caught a single one on the perch, the uh, on the suspended perch bait. I've got one on the other side. Try to keep everything nice and fair, nice and even, and uh, have not caught one on the perch suspended. There he is. Good fish. Good fish. Yeah. <laughs> Getting back alive. Again, if you fast forwarded to the end of the video, it's a Carolina rig is all this is. Main line, I got a weight on there. That's, I don't know, an ounce. A swivel. Then a leader, what, 18 inches? Small hook, that's a uh, circle hook from Hooker's Terminal Tackle. I think they call it a backstabber. That's only about a five alt hook. And uh, just a piece of chicken on it. So I gotta get another piece of chicken because I'm out. So. Well, do I have any more tips for winter catfish? Well. Normally, uh, this time of the year that I'm fishing, it has not gotten super cold yet. Like I said, we've still got water that's in the 50s, albeit in the low 50s. Uh, but we are getting to that time period when I say downsize baits. And uh, coincidentally, most of the fish that we've caught today have been on smaller pieces of bait. And uh, I've got big baits out and have just not had any luck. I had one that was hit. Uh, I think we did catch one fish on uh, one of the perch heads, but not a lot of luck. So uh, again, I, I, it, these water temperatures start getting to that 40 degree, you know, 49, 48, 47 mark. Downsizing baits is something definitely to try. Obviously, if you're catching a bunch of fish and you just don't want to catch them anymore and you just want big fish, go with some big bait. But if you want to catch fish, if you want to see some rods being, you want to put some catfish in a boat, try downsizing your baits. That can help. Uh, I'm not sure what the biology is behind that, but it definitely seems to help. And it seemed to help today on today's trip uh, with putting a lot of fish in the boat for a winter fishing trip. Well, folks, if you made it this far, thank you for watching. Here are a couple more videos that I think you're gonna like. I'd watch that one, and then that one. No, no do, do that one first, and then that one. I, I don't know, just watch them both, they're both good.